I'm spending the next 24 hours spying on Franklin, and I've got a pretty good reason to do it. Because nearly every day I play as Franklin. I drive around, go on adventures, have fun. You guys know this, but I hardly know anything about him. And it gets even crazier. Because if I leave Franklin in his house, even for a minute, and go back over there with someone else, most of the time he's gone. See? His car's disappeared, and I bet he won't be in his house. Let's take a look. Yep, he's gone. Literally missing, which means Franklin has a secret life which even I don't know about. So we're gonna spend the next 24 hours spying on him to find out what he gets up to. And right now it's half past six in the morning and it looks like he's fast asleep. Yep, still fast asleep. I mean, what can I expect? This is still pretty early. Is Chop awake yet? I think he might be, actually. Let me get a closer look. Yep, there he is. He's awake, which means Franklin's gonna be up pretty soon. Oh, there we go. That's his alarm. And he started the morning with some push-ups. I didn't realize Franklin does those. I'm pretty sure he hates exercise. Oh, I gotta be careful. He's literally coming over here. Quick, get down, get down, get down, get down. What is he doing next to the barbecue? Oh, no way. Is he about to cook himself some breakfast on the barbecue? Man, since when does Franklin do this? This is like a classic day of the Franklin. I wish he did this for me every morning. I wonder what he's cooking. Oh, it smells nice already. Wait, who is he calling for? Chop? Is he cooking Chop breakfast on the barbecue? Yeah, there he is. Chop's already next to him. And are those steaks? Oh, man, he's literally cooked Chop some steaks. Oh, oh, don't bark. Don't bark, boy. Oh, no, I think he can smell me. He knows something's up. We better just sneak away from here quickly. Yeah, that's right, Franklin. You tell Chop to stop being crazy. You just enjoy your breakfast. I'll just hide in this book and wait for this to, uh, you know, die out. Please leave me alone, boy. I'm not doing anything to you. Oh, my days. Franklin's breakfast looks amazing. Phew. All right, Chop's left me alone. Let's go see what else Franklin's up to. I kind of want to see if there's... Oh, man, there is. He left a steak on the barbecue. Well, I don't think you'll mind if I take this. Mm -hmm. oh, I love a bit of steak in the morning, and he's cooked it pretty good as well. All right, whoa, is that music? Wait, I think Franklin's playing some music. One second. What is he doing now? What is this guy up to? Oh, he's dancing. He's having a morning dance. This is the happiest man in the world. No wonder why I make videos with him all the time. He's loving life. Oh, that's a bit of a weird tune, though. I'm pretty sure he'd be embarrassed if I found out his music days. Oh, no, he got a phone call. I wonder who it is. If only I could listen in. Come on, come on. Is it important? Is it not important? There we go. He's put it away. What? Oh, he's going. One second. I, I need to check this out. Let me take a look. We're just gonna go through his house and see what he's up to. He went this way around the door. Upstairs. Wait. He's just, he's locking up. He just locked his door. One second. Is he going out somewhere? This early? You better keep moving, Michael. If he's really locked his door. Oh, no. He has has. He has locked the door. Back downstairs we go, I guess. Okay, going through the house was a really bad idea. I think Franklin, that's his car. Yep, he's definitely about to go somewhere, but where is he gonna go to? We're about to go on our first adventure. Let's go. Just whatever you do, Michael, don't lose him. And he's gone. All right, perfect. Luckily for us, I left my car right around the corner, so as long as I don't lose him, we should be fine. Quick, better get moving though, Michael. He's already in a rush. He sped off. Right, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? We're looking for a white car. I'm pretty sure I can see it. It went down here. Oh, yep. There it is. Driving like a maniac, I see. Well, that sounds exactly like Franklin. Jeez, oh, he's really got speed. Where is he going? Is he late for something? What is this guy up to? Oh, my. Hey, come on. Get out the way, dude. This is what happens when I don't have Franklin's ability when I drive. You don't get to drive as good as him. Whew. All right, finally caught up with him. He is crashing into vehicles. What is up with this guy? I follow him for like 10 minutes and he's already on a road rage. Oh my goodness, he already crashed into somebody. What are you doing? This is Bumper. He's literally broken his car already. He's broken his car. Something ain't right here. Something really ain't right. And I wanted to get to the bottom of this. This morning was going so calm and relaxing. Hey, where are you going, Frank? What's the deal? Where are you driving now? Come on, go somewhere. This is awkward, buddy. <laughs> Oh, now he's going. Now, now he figured it out. He figured out where the acceleration pedal was. Either that or his car is, like, nearly destroyed. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me either. If he's going to the airport, then we could be in for quite the adventure. He could fly literally anywhere. I've been to Africa, to Asia, to, to, to so many places. So many places. What are you doing? Oh, wait. 
He went in here. Recycling, salvage, scrap, top prices. What would he be doing in here? Hey, where'd he go? Where did he go? I don't like this. I really don't like this one bit. He's vanished. What about tire tracks? Okay, I think someone went this way. There he is. That's Franklin. All right, here's the deal. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to be spotted. I think Franklin wants to go here, but I don't know why. So I'm keeping my distance, and we're going to find a nice bit of high ground. All right, leave this here. Here we go. I found a ladder. We'll use this. I'll get on the roof, and we'll be able to spy on him from there. Hmm. Oh, there he is. That's him. All right, let's take a look on the good old Snapmatic and what they're up to. So he's at the scrapyard speaking to a lady. I can't quite hear them. Let me get a little bit closer. I want to hear what they're talking about. You're late again. I'm docking your pay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's only your fifth day. Don't do it again. He's late. This is his work. He has a job. No way. So Franklin's fixing up that car, and I think she's getting some parts for Franklin. Franklin? Honestly, I don't know. I'm just sort of watching all of this. But I didn't realize he's got a job. He's working as a mechanic. How awesome is that? Look at him go like he actually knows his stuff. I didn't realize he knew how to fix up cars. I mean, this is me going to Simeon in the customs every day. Franklin can do it himself. Oh, man, he's been working at this place for five days. Can you believe it? Five days working in the school. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's already fixed the car. Great job, Frank. I'm not gonna dock your pay after all. Thanks. Can I go now? Yeah. Come back tomorrow. And that's his work done until tomorrow. He just fixes a car and leaves like an absolute boss. Come on, we better get back in our car. Franklin's gonna be leaving here any minute now, and I don't want to miss him. Right, where are you going to now, Frank? We're only like three hours into the day, and he's already got a job. We're learning so much. But what is his next plan, apart from getting himself taken out by being a careless driver? Don't get too close. Don't get too close. Remember, he's clever. He can fix a car, Mike. That's one skill you can't do. And it looks like he's not going to the airport. Instead, he might be leaving Los Santos. I'm pretty sure the highway's this way. There's May's bank. Is he going there to the HQ? No, he's not going there. Is he going to the club? Oh, that's a possibility. No, not even. Oh, my days. He just ran someone over. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Franklin just went into somebody. What is this guy? Oh, my days. Sorry. So sorry about this guy. He's crazy, dude. He parks up down there, and he's walking into that building. What's it called? Astro Theatres. Is he going to the theater? He's not exactly very considerate because he left his car outside. Classic Franklin. Something I would do as well. What is he watching? Los Santos 2022 looks like a good film. <laughs> Let's check it out. <laughs> Are we gonna be watching a film with Frank? Um, this is strange. Uh, guys, he's not in here. Look at this. I've got a torch and there is no one in here. Literally nobody. Hey, cut it out! Oh wait, sorry. There is somebody. I don't know where he is though, but that's definitely not Franklin. So where did he go? Okay, I can't afford to lose him. We're gonna go back outside. Whoa! He's got some speakers from that guy, I guess. What? What are you doing? Why does Franklin have, like, some theater grade speakers? Alright, one second. I, I gotta hide. I, I, I can't get in my car without him spotting me, so I'm just gonna hide here for a second. Alright, now's my chance. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Get in your car. He can't see me because he's got four speakers sticking out the back. And he's driving. Of oh my days. He's turning around. Are you serious? You're turning around? Here? Are you just- You ran over the guy who sold you the speakers. You're stressing me out, Frank. I don't like this. He literally ran him over three times. And he has knocked over a bin. Okay, he is such a bad driver. I am so sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> don't sell speakers to him again. Well, at least his car's easy to find. Sorry, gotta come through. Emergency. I'm trying to spy on my best friend here. Move it! Move it! Ah, beautiful. And there he is, driving away. Yeah, he is so easy to spot. <laughs> With all of the cars around him, nothing just looks exactly like Franklin's. I mean, something about it looks a little bit different. I wonder what it is. If you're enjoying this video too, smash like so I know. And maybe I'll spy on some more characters in this world. Whoa, Frank, you knocked over another bin. You're gonna have to pay for that at the end of the day. I would love to know his bill the police gave him after this. You just voluntarily went into the tree. Jeez, this guy, this guy, seriously, this guy. I genuinely think Franklin might be the craziest character in this world. I don't I don't think Trevor is gonna be crazier than this. At least Trevor knows how to drive sensibly. He might take risks here and there, but he doesn't do this. He's really driving fast too. Where are we? Where, why are we in a rush? Are you late for something again? Do you have another job I don't know about? He even scared that dude and knocked over his gnome. Those guys are just casually watching. Probably normal stuff for him. Wait, I think he's going home. Oh, that would make sense. He's probably going home. He lives up here, of course. 
He's going home. Oh, are you sure you're strong enough to carry those, Frank? Clearly. He's, he's, he's gone in. He's just, just carrying them into his house. All right. <laughs> Not asking anyone for help. He's setting his house up with amazing speakers. I need to see what he's doing with these. I need to see. Hmm, what could he be doing? Party, music, maybe he's selling them. He bought them from a cinema. He didn't steal them either. Like some dude just gave them him. Whoa, hey, what's that? Do you hear that? Guys, that's coming from the house. That's literally coming from... Okay, that's coming from the house. What is he doing? Please tell me that's gotta be the speakers. That can't be him, right? Are there people in there? Oh my days. What could be going on, dude? I gotta go inside. I need to see what's happening. Uh, Frank, I'm gonna have to butt in here. He's left one speaker in his lounge. His sofa's a mess. Wait, it's coming from downstairs. What? Guys, I think something bad's happening. If he left a speaker up here and I'm hearing that downstairs, I think something really bad has happened to Franklin. But it's not even downstairs. It's coming from in there. Literally, I don't go in that room. Let's check it out. I, I thought this was locked. Like, it's always locked. No way. This is in Franklin's house. He's got his own gaming room, which the speakers went into. Oh, that makes sense. I don't believe he has this. I, I played with him for years. He didn't even tell me anything about this place. Oh, man, I better get out of here before he sees me. To think inside that door, the locked door no one can get into, is a gaming setup which Franklin won't share with anybody. Literally not even me. Maybe not even you. Have you been in there? Let me know, please. Franklin's really hiding secrets today. Right, I'm gonna wait up here until something else happens. You can't be in that room all day. Come on, Frank. Do something. Do something. There is a big risk he could be playing video games all day. I mean, dude, that's so easily done. Wait, here he comes. He's getting into his car again. Yes, we're on. Put them away, Mike. We gotta get moving. He could be going anywhere right now. Literally anywhere. He's going down there. Come on, start it up, start it up, and follow him. Don't lose his car. So where could he be going to this time? Let's look at the actual time. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. He spent a good two hours at home playing video games. Now he... He's going past my house. Could you imagine if he went to my house? That would be so funny. Like, he wants to hang out with me or something. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He's... Uh, wait, what? Why is Franklin going to Michael's house? Hey, that doesn't make any sense. He's in my driveway. What are you doing? Wait, he's turning around. He's turning around. Back, oh, jeez. No, ba back it up again. Don't... Knock over anything else. He can't afford to see me. What is he doing at my house? I haven't been given a call. He hasn't tried to text me. What is that guy up to? He's still there. Just standing in my driveway. Sus. Little bit sus. Not gonna lie. Like, this is my house. My house, Frank. What are you doing? Wait, Amanda. That's my wife. She's getting into Franklin's car. What? Hey, you better not double cross me, Frank. You're my friend. And he's off by the looks of it. I'll wait for him to turn around and I'll get back to my car. Gotta be quick about this in case he sees me. I don't know where he's going to or what his plan is, but I gotta get in my car. And there he is. He's already driving. Glad I got into this in time. Alright, don't lose him, Mike. Whatever you do, don't lose him. Franklin's having quite the day by the looks of it. Yeah, quite the day. <laughs> and now he's got my wife in his car. I'm really confused. And suddenly, Franklin decides it's time to drive like an actual, respectable, normal driver. Not overtaking, not speeding, not crashing. At least I'm glad he's looking after Amanda. This is far from Los Santos. Very far from your home as well, Frank. He's going into a garage. Wait a minute, what are you doing? He's literally parked his car in a garage I didn't even realize existed. And they're not in the main room. See them in there. What are you guys up to? What are you up to, dude? Come on, there's got to be another window I can use. Bathroom. I can't quite see in. What's going on here? Wait, well, oh my days. Okay, they're literally in, in that room right there. Amanda and Franklin are in a bedroom. Hang on a second. What are you guys up to? You won't believe this. Franklin's teaching Amanda how to shoot a gun. That's why they're hanging out, of course. Oh, this is so strange. I didn't realize she wanted to learn. She could have asked me. Michael knows how to do this as well. Man. Well, it looks like they got a little thing going. I'm not gonna interrupt, but I'm glad it's just that. They're just trying to teach Amanda a new skill. I started to sweat a little bit. Michael, you got nothing to worry about. And he's dropped her off back at home, of course. Good. Whew, she's safe back at home now. All right, Franklin, not off the hook, though. <laughs> I'm still following you. I want to see what else you get up to. So what's your plan now, buddy? What's your plan now? I'm amazed he hasn't seen me yet. I mean, a blue car following someone for the whole day? <laughs> I 
Driving crazy once again, I see. Now no one else is in his car. Where could you be rushing off to now, though? What's the plan? What's the deal? He's heading to downtown Los Santos. Maybe he wants to do some clothes shopping. Or maybe he doesn't. No, he does not want to do clothes shopping. He's going somewhere else. Don't get too close. I mean, I'm amazed he hasn't even sussed me out yet. It's getting dark, too. It's almost half past six. I followed him for 12 hours so far. Almost the entire day. And now he's pulled in on a zebra crossing. Nope, he's... Just run somebody over. All right. What is going through your mind, buddy? What is... <laughs> you ran him over again. Congratulations. Is he... He's still alive. Do you want to run him over a third time? Oh, here we go. He's parked up and he's speaking to the owner of Pizza This. Looks like Franklin wants to get a little bit of pizza tonight. I don't blame him. That would be so good. Michael, we should get pizza too. Oh, look at him jamming in his car. <laughs> he's having a wonderful time today. Oh, I do love to be a spy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, no, he's being really serious now. Alright, news it goes. <clears throat> Wait for Franklin to go, find out what he ordered. There we go. Alright, he's put the order in and he's still looking at the list. Was it really that unusual? See you later, sucker. I guess he's going home. He's gotta be going home. He's gotta be. Let me just find out what he ordered. Hey, buddy, what did, what did he order? Can you tell me? One pepperoni, one Hawaiian, one barbecue chicken. One olive and onion. All right, okay, we don't need to read out all the orders. He really ordered four pizzas? Uh, no, he ordered 150. It's my lucky day. 150? Are you sure? Uh, yes. 150 pizzas. Can I order a pizza? I. Uh, you'll have to wait five hours. Oh, well, I'll go somewhere else, actually. Thanks. He ordered 150? What, is he doing a mukbang or something? What's this guy up to? No way. My guy is throwing an actual party at his house. And look at this. It's almost the middle of the night. Now, let's see if I can get it. In. I mean, since it's a party, he, he won't notice if I've arrived, right? I mean, look at the amount of cars out there. Hey, uh, guys, can I join? No? Okay. All right, yeah, apparently my name's not on the list. I didn't even give them my name. They must just know my face. All right, clearly Michael is not allowed in. Franklin does not like Michael, and I don't blame him. So let's take a look through here. Let's see what the party's like. Like, how lively is this? Oh, man, that looks really lively. Look at that. There's so many people. See why I spy on Franklin now? Because he doesn't tell me anything about his life. This is all secrets. He should at least be inviting you guys. I hope he did. I know he only invites subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed, you'll never know. Uh-oh. Hey, What's going on? There's a house fire and everyone's leaving. Uh, this isn't good. So I guess the pizzas aren't coming. That's bad. I wonder what caused it. It's a really big fire. For once, I have nothing to do with this. This this just happened by total accident. I'll leave him to it. I kind of feel sorry for Franklin. He went through all of this and now his house burnt down. There's only three hours left until I've spied on him for the entire day. I wish there was more to show, but he's just been sleeping outside. Oh, hey, Frank. Yeah, do you want to do anything? What happened to you last night? He's just seen me and he has no idea I spied on him for 24 hours. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, smash like. And if you want me to spy on anybody else, let me know who in the comments below. But thanks for watching. My name is Nord. Subscribe if you do. And until next time, stay awesome.